I believe that you have what it takes to manifest and create the dreams deep in your heart. But I find that many people struggle with manifestation and working with the law of attraction and they find themselves attracting the results they don't want because they don't understand how the law of attraction works. Now, at its most very basic, when I describe the law of attraction, what I use as the basic concept for people is this idea that like attracts like, right? So if we send out a certain vibe, if we send out a vibe of distrust, we get the vibe of distrust back. And if we send out the vibe of anger or frustration or problems, we get problems back. So the two keys that I wanna help you guys understand and really see how these work in your life, the two keys to mastering the law of attraction and really understanding how the law of attraction works are desire and expectation. So let's first dive into the first, this idea of desire. How can I work with my desire to create the results that I want by mastering the law of attraction? So with desire, what I find is that most people, most people focus on their problems. They focus on what they don't want. And they focus on all the things that are going wrong, everything that's not working out, all of the struggles, the pain, the difficulty that they're having. But if you really want to manifest something different, you need to take your mind off of the problem and onto your desire. Now, I used to do that same thing where I would focus on the problem all the time, right? And I would be working and criticizing everything that made me think that, you know, I really had to work harder and achieve better, right? And the, the way that I was going to do that was by constantly criticizing. And what you find out instead is that Really, that doesn't work when we are constantly thinking about the problems, when we're constantly focused on the things that are going wrong, we actually attract more problems, more things that are going on wrong. Because the way that it is, the way that your mind truly works, when we understand the neuroscience and some of the quantum physics behind the law of attraction, we understand that your mind is like a broadcasting station. And it's capable of broadcasting any channel that you're tuned to. So if you're putting your thinking on the don't want channel, you attract what you don't want. And if you put your mind on the want channel, you attract what you do want. So like attracts like. And if I'm focused on the problems, I'm going to attract problems. So if I want, really want to attract the results I want, I have to think about what I want. And that is my desire, right? Not focusing on the problems. The other thing that I found was that once I started to shift to thinking about what I really desire instead of focusing on the problems, I was able to start to really create what I wanted, right? When I started to focus on what I desire, what I would love, and they started building a vision around that, that was when my results finally changed. So expectation is the other component that we need to master in really mastering the law of attraction. So outside of desire, we also need to understand how expectations work. Now, I'm sure you know somebody out there in the world who always expects the worst. And I used to be one of those people myself. I always saw the glasses half empty. I saw the problems. I didn't see the good things. And so what I didn't realize was that even though I consciously wanted good, subconsciously, I was expecting a negative outcome. Most people expect things not to work out. And what they're doing is they're trying to protect themselves from the downside but they don't realize that what they're doing is subconsciously expecting a negative outcome. And when I used to do this, when it came to my weight, right, I, I had this belief that I never could possibly love my body, that I always was going to be in this struggle of gain weight, lose weight, gain weight, lose weight, gain weight, lose weight. So even though I consciously wanted a different result, I wanted to feel healthy and to, to love my body, I subconsciously expected that I was going to stay on this pattern of not creating what it is that I really want. So what we want to tune to instead, right, is to truly expect what it is that we say that we want. And you want and how we do that, how we are how we show expectation for what it is that we really want is being grateful for it right now even if it hasn't shown up Think of this like preparing for the party. You're preparing for everyone to arrive to the party. You have to prepare the party before everybody else shows up. And that's exactly what you're doing when you're working on manifestation. You got to prepare the party. You got to get everything in order in order to welcome everyone to join. 
So if you really want the results that you say that you want, you need to welcome them by taking the action steps that make that thing that you say that you want welcome. There was a doctor named Dr. Bernie Siegel, and years ago he did some study about exceptional cancer patients who beat exceptional odds, right? So if the odds of them surviving was like five, like 1% or 2%, what were these exceptional cancer patients doing to beat these impossible seeming odds? Why, how were they beating cancer? And what Dr. Bernie Siegel found was that these people were taking action before what they said that they really wanted in life showed up. So even though they were sick, they were thinking about the next piece, the desire, the thing that they really wanted, and they were starting to act now to get that thing that they want tomorrow. And by taking action before what they wanted showed up, they started to send signals to their body. And the signals that they were sending to their body through the action that they were taking was, hey, we got to heal because there's stuff that we got to be ready to do. We have to be ready for this next phase, this, this next thing that's coming. So in order for us to get ready for that, we got to be preparing right now. And when the body, when our subconscious sees that we're preparing right now to receive what it is that we say that we want, that starts to create a grateful expectation, knowing that what it is that we really want is going to show up in the end. So just to recap, the two keys that you want to master when it comes to the law of attraction. First is desire. Tuning your mind to the channel of the desired results that you really want. And then second, expectation. You want to be able to gratefully expect the result that you want to show up. And the way that you show grateful expectation is by, is by first bathing the dream in gratitude, but also by taking action now now to prepare for its arrival. You want to get prepared and ready for what it is that you say that you want to show up. Now, for more information and for some support to help you master the law of attraction, if you're really serious about mastering the law of attraction in your own life, then sign up to join me this Saturday for three keys to mastering your results. It's a free webinar. I'm going to share the link in the comments here. Let me see if I can do that. Yeah, so I just shared the link to the, to the webinar in the comments. During this webinar, I'm gonna break down these, this law of attraction a, a little bit more and talk to you about what it is that we really need to do to master our results in life. So hopefully this message serves you and hopefully it gives you a little bit more of a clear idea of what it is that you're, not, that you're doing that's not working for you and how to work a little smarter, not harder, to create the results that you ultimately want. So sending lots of love to you wherever you happen to be in the world. I hope you're having an amazing day. I hope that everything is turning out exactly as you wish. And remember, if, if that's what you want, focus on your desire and expect it gratefully. Lots of love wherever you happen to be in the world. Have a great day.